<laughs> Hello, welcome to From Next Door, a short mystery indie horror somewhat RPG game. It apparently has original custom shit in it, and it looked pretty nice. I'm going to get right into it. New game. It just looked nice, like original graphics and everything. This game is best played with headphones. And since it's an indie horror, I had to jump into it. Matsuda-san, I hope you enjoy your new home. If anything comes up, call me. And don't forget how to move. And also how to interact. And also pause and skip through text and sprint. Kenji Umura. Thanks. Thanks for reminding me how the fuck to move forward. That is fucking wonderful. Very thoughtful. Well, home sweet home. My name is... Nami? I'm going to say, think that's Nami. But yeah. Nami. I'm not looking forward to all the unpacking, though. I hate unpacking. Packing is fun. Unpacking is not. I don't know why. It's umaro sans instructions. No. No. Just... Whoa, streets. Not ready for that shit. What the fuck is this? A couch? Kitchen? A purse? It's my purse. Yes. Wallet. Credit cards, money, nothing much. Work ID. Nami Matsuda, software design. You're currently on break from work. That's why you decided to use this time to move into your new place. A business card. Furukura Housing Kenji Omura. Furukura Housing owns the house that you're renting, and you owe it to Umura-san for getting you such a nice deal. Good, good, good to know. More. Why would there be a menu and then more? Why, why not just list it all? It's just that's part of the scripting. Cell phone, your phone is not here. That's right. Aizawa-san, uh, uh not, no, not even a San. Aizawa had it confiscated because she thought it would keep you from getting in touch with anything work and stress related. Her words. It's not like you don't have an actual phone though. Or even email. Oh, oh okay. More. Lighter. It's your old lighter, even though you've stopped smoking, you still keep this with you. Your mom would be disappointed in you if you started smoking again, though. Take the lighter? Yes. We have a lighter. It's the phone! Uh, let's call mom! And uh, then we can chat with her and then flirt with her. Undertale joke. Not really a joke, actually, just a reference. Hey, uh, mom, hey, it's me! Oh, hi, honey, I'm so glad you called. Did you finish moving into your new house? No! Mostly, yeah, there's a lot of unpacking that needs to be done, though. I'd come over if I could, but why did you have to move so far away? It's fine, Mom. I'll get around to it eventually. I just have to get a couple things done first. Things or things? Yeah. Nami, you're supposed to be on a break from work. Uh, a couple favors from the guys at work. It's important. It won't take long. As an introvert, I hate idle chat a lot. I worry about you. Just don't overwork yourself. Don't worry. All right. How's the house? You said it was surprisingly cheap. Is something wrong with it? Not that I've seen so far, but I'm keeping an eye out. I still can't believe I got such a nice house for such a cheap rent. I know why then. It's supernatural, haunted. Usually, architecturally, if a house is really, really cheap, it means the pricing gone down because there was a murder in it, because a lot of ghostly shit happens in it, because shit's really decrepit, or because things need a lot of replacing, like heater, like in normal things to survive during winter and, you know, air conditioning, heater, proper insulation, then it would get a lot cheaper. Um, so, it isn't one, one of those shady neighborhoods. It's not. So, hey, I'm gonna think it's uh, haunted or murder, if not both. Your dad, uh, you and your dad can come and stay with me when you're in town, there's plenty of room. Travel plans, unpacking, see you later. Nami knows how to save energy. Dad says he loves you not to forget to turn off, turn the lights off when you leave a room. I, I don't think I'll be turning lights on or off in this. But hey, that was a very invigorating phone call. Let's call Umura-san and then... Mm -hmm. Hello there. Let's call and get this over with and then continue searching the house. Hello Matsuda-san. How have you been enjoying your new home so far? So far, so good. Glad to hear it. Thank you for finding me such a nice deal. Your lifesaver. No problem. If anything comes up, give me a call. Thank you. So I just called him to thank him. Okay. Fridge. I don't have any groceries, apparently. A working sink. 
the stove that will go pretty much unused. You don't really cook at all. What a shame. Okay. What is this thing at the end? No idea. TV. You don't feel like watching TV. A couple of vases. And I'm guessing that's basically it. You can shift or run. So, being that there's a sprint key, we're probably going to... That's either to rush around or it's to uh, outrun something trying to kill us. The door is locked. You have the keys. Yes. You've unlocked the door. Huh. Boxes and shit in the closet. The closet is full of previous tenant left behind. S such as... I'd like to know what's in it. A bunch of things the tenant left behind. Uh-huh. I don't trust. There's a, a storage room with boxes the tenant left behind. I'd like to know what's in there. You know, corpses, evil shit, possessed belongings. I, these are the things I'd like to know. Especially since I had, this door was locked. Why would a storage room need to be locked unless it's trying to keep something locked and sealed like a monster wait what what oh those are stairs wow okay fuck me handful of books mathematics and a fishing manual fuck me that, that sounds boring um these are my boxes In someone's room if not mine a painting the previous owner left behind slightly tilted that would trigger me the closet is empty the door is locked. Yes. It doesn't work. Wrong key. You check the key, it's tagged Tatami Room. That's weird, this was supposed to be the right key. You test the other keys just to make sure none of them work, though. Maybe I should call him and ask. Okay, so this is going to be about a girl. Oh, wait, that reminds me of something I should have told you guys at the beginning. Just in case you guys love, um... There's a horror manga artist that is really infamous, and this was inspired by his work. So if you like, l let me look up his name, fuck me. Um, uh, the game store, I'll read the game store page itself. From Next Door is a short mystery horror game developed for the 2016 Pixel Horror Jam, featuring 100% original graphics, story-driven gameplay, exploration, decision-making. It draws inspiration from the works of Junji Ito. Uh, and games like Silent Hill with a story focused on the eerie and bizarre. So if you love... Or even no Junji Ito, if I'm pronouncing his name right. Look up his shit if you haven't already. Really good creepy shit. No one draws shit like he does. So if you like horror, then I recommend reading his manga. I, I seriously do. Um, if you need recommendations, ask me in the comments below. I will give you some and links to where to find them. Because his work is definitely very, very interesting, unique. Sometimes extremely fucking gross. Sometimes literally... Not, not literally, but really actually scary. Or just spooky. You can see a reflection in the mirror. Check the cabinet? Yes. Bathroom supplies. Your dad used to set bugs on fire with the odorant spray. And a lighter when you're a child. That's a hint to use a lighter for. Okay. So we have a lighter. We might have to do that to defend ourselves. Let's, let's, let's pee. We don't need to pee. Um, and the last thing we need to do is go in our room. Close... Uh, box. Computer. Not yet. Old camera. My bed. Eh, let's read some email. From Aizawa. I heard you're moving. Why now all the times? You know this was supposed to be your stress-free break, right? Can't you do, go a day without doing something? Honestly, I don't know what to do with you. Don't overdo it, okay? Possibly, maybe this character is overworking and this stress... Is going to bring what uh, what psychological weird shit's going to happen later, I presume. I don't actually know, I haven't been spoiled, but I'm presuming shit goes down. Because if you know Jinjo Ito, it's nice, calm, and then shit hits the fan. Always. Sanjo. So, Matsuda, you're on a break, right? You're lucky. Hey, since you have all this free time, can I ask you a favor? Can you look over this code for me? It's really important. I've sent it to you as an attachment. Thanks. Uh, what, what is the attachment? I did not get it. It just says attachment. Is there any, not that one. Shit, okay. No, no, yes, this. I have no honest idea. It says attachment, but as soon as I hit space, it just stops it. So, fuck it, whatever. Wait, wait. 
It's a light switch. So I actually can turn on and off the lights. Interesting. But only to my room. I don't see any light switches anywhere else. Well, let's call the guy and uh, ask him the question. Keys. This is not me. How can I help you? I was trying to open a room with one of the keys, but no key works. Do you think you could ha give me give me the wrong key? Uh, I don't think so. I keep each house ca see how <laughs> each house houses set of keys separate. Are you sure the door's not just stuck? Yeah, it's really locked. Maybe the previous tenant changed the lock and didn't say anything. Do you think you can contact him? No, it's fine. I'll go get someone over open the door for you. Although it may have to wait till Monday. Yeah. But it's kind of creepy that you have this one room in your house that you haven't looked in. I would not. Like, I'm not even a supernatural type. If I moved into an apartment or a house and there's one door I couldn't open and it was locked, I would not buy it. I would not go in it. I would not trust it. Even if it's not even a horror setting. I would not trust it. It's just That's just that's just spooky. Like, what if there is actually a person hiding in there? Dad is going to wait until the middle of the night to open the door and then murder you in your sleep. You just do not know. I'm not that kind of paranoid person where I'm like, ah, you know, that's just, you know, that's normal. That sounds normal. Don't, yeah, just go to sleep. No, fuck that. I have to know the house is clean. If I move in, I'm checking the fucking closets. I'm checking the basement. I'm checking the crawl space. I'm checking the attic. I'm checking everywhere. There's not going to be a single, like, fucking sociopathic homeless clown person with a knife waiting for me to sleep at all. They're going to not be there. I'm going to make sure of it. Outside of that, do we sleep now? Or do we have to go outside and go grocery shopping? Maybe grocery shopping. Let's do that. Let's go outside. My house... Why is my voice getting rugged? I'm not even sick anymore. I don't know. Whatever. We're leaving. Oh, I'm your new neighbor. Why not? You have no business over there. Okay. Grocery shopping, maybe, though? It's the house next to yours. Nothing seems particularly ordinary about it. You know, except the fact it doesn't have any fucking, uh, windows. Also, why is it so dark outside? It's fucking 9 a.m., what the fuck? But yeah, what? There's nothing outside of the ordinary. Windows. Windows are important. It's the same design as the other houses down the street. However, you can't seem to shake the feeling that it looks out of place. It takes away to, for you to realize that it's probably because the house doesn't seem to have any windows. Congratulations for catching on. Oh, it's just wonderful. That's all. I wonder who lives here. It's it's, it's kind of beautiful that uh, it took her that long to uh, figure that out. Also, my hair is looking like a mess. My God, it's like always curved up here. It's it's fucking weird. Anyways, let's continue. All right. You have no business. So it was just to show us this creepy ass fucking house that is next to ours. It is also two spaces. Hello. Hi. You don't happen to be my new the new tenant of this house, do you? I am. Oh wonderful. She looks like a very nice aged woman. Very very cute. My name is Hanay not Hanay Hanai Hannah? I'm gonna say Hana Honda. I live next door to you. Hello, my name is Nami Matsuda. It's wonderful to meet you, Matsuda. The house has been empty for quite a while now. It was uh, about time someone moved in. Do you live by yourself? Uh, yes, it's just me. Isn't it such a big house for just one person? I live here with my husband. Our son lived with us, but he moved out some time ago. I wasn't exactly sure. I wasn't exactly looking for a house this big, but they made a nice offer. I heard the price was going down after no one showed interest. But why would no one show interest? Very important. Do you know why? I was wondering that myself. Nothing in particular. You're lying. Bet you be lying. <laughs> I can tell she's lying. How long have you lived here? How long? For quite some time. Oh, yes. Quite. It's very peaceful around here. Uh, do you happen to know who lives in that house? The one uh, next to mine? Yeah, that house. I don't think anyone has lived there in a very long time. So mine, no. The one next to mine, no. Shit's getting uh, get increasingly bad. I, I just found a stranger. Doesn't seem to have one of those. Quite odd, isn't it? It's been that way ever since we moved here, and then no one seems to know who owns it either. 
Yeah, that does. I would ask the fucking you know the the provincial area, or the the town, the mayor, or anyone. I uh, I have to go. There's still a lot of unpacking that needs to be done. She seems sweet, but she's fucking lying to me. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm sure I won't be able to depend on her when shit hits the fan. She'll be like, oh, there goes another person that died in this house. Sure. Can I lock the door? It's getting late and you still have work to do. It seems like you'll leave the unpacking for tomorrow. Lazy. You should go to your room. All right. I, I don't like the fact that I don't know who's, uh, who or what is in this room. I still don't like that. I really don't. I don't know. It's already dark. You should turn on the light. Yeah, I really should. Please don't tell me there's someone in the room with me. Ah, oh, looks nice. Great. That's great. <sighs> Let's put on some pajamas. It's your new bed. End of the day, yes. Please save it by sleeping. Please. Please. That, that'd be great. Uh, anything bad going to happen in the middle of the night? No. Alright, that's one box down. And a lot more to go. And this room's still locked. Well, you have to wait till Monday. You wonder if Omara said was true, and if the previous tenant had changed the lock without saying anything. You wonder if the, he left the key here somewhere. He did leave a lot of stuff behind. Time for snooping. In that storage room that was also locked, but that we had the key for. Yes. You don't find any key. Okay. I might have to make this two-part episode. Didn't find a key. The suspense is killing me. You don't... Alright, it's either this one or the other one. Come on. Okay, what about this last one? A dead cat. Just, just nothing of interest, apparently. Okay, the closet. Don't find a key. Huh. Is it in the shoes? Okay. Um. Well, if he's lying to me, uh, let's calm again. I don't need to. How about mom? No. Okay. Um. I, these are my boxes, so it shouldn't be in here. Um, none there. Closet? Behind the painting? This box? No. Huh. How about emails? Anything change here? No. Okay, apparently not. Ah, so. uh, I have no idea then. Huh. Because I checked all the boxes, I would assume. Unless, they, like, doing this one didn't do it properly. Huh. Wait, what if I turn off the light? No, never mind, I don't have the option. Huh, this is... Oh, wait, is this a... No, okay, I thought that was, like... It looks like there's a, a space on the bottom right here to move. But it's just the texture of the side of the cabin, apparently. Well, I have no idea. It's a short mystery, a short horror mystery, but we're running out of time already. So I'm going to end it here and continue looking for the fucking keys that are in a box that I have no idea where they are. I'm, I'm honestly confused and uh, lost, so I'm just going to save it here. Or not even save, I'm just going to lend it here. So I hope you've been enjoying this mystery game so far. It's going, just trust me, the next episode is going to be fucking, like, just fucked up, probably. If it's inspired by Junji Ito, I'm pronouncing his rhyme right, then it, shit's gonna hit the fan. You probably would all love it if this guy's done a good job. Um, so, hope you look forward to that. I'm gonna end it here. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, then please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber. And until the next time, keep running. Keep, oh, okay, I'm not controlling it this time. Unlock the door. Holy shit! Oh. What? What? Excuse me, do you know what the fuck happened here? I'm clueless. 